Okay, round two, we have Ronus in here, so that's cool. We can probably cycle to irrigated farmland at some point, so we'll probably sandbag this. And turn two planning, turn three Ronus. All right, sounds good. All right, let's plan here. Uh, I guess we take the overcome and pass. So if we could draw a tenacious hunter, that would be nice. We can start attacking with our uh, Ronus. At least they didn't have a follow-up play. Let's see here. Ronus makes the best use of mana. Bitterblade Warrior. Why would I want a Bitterblade Warrior? Bitterblade Warrior would allow me to do what? Next turn, play Ronus. No. Ah, we'll just play the Ronus, because we could still draw a Tenacious Hunter. I know it's basically our only four power creature, I think. No, we have the Sharpshooter, too, but that's five mana. Um, I guess we could do a Great Maw. And then put the counters on the Ronus. That would actually work. So we do actually have, a, I guess, a couple draws. But I played this because it's better use of mana, but I can't even attack with it unless I draw the right things. Plus we have to take some damage from this. So, But I wouldn't have blocked with my Bitterblade Warrior, I don't think, either. Um, Alright, so we'll play our Bitterblade Warrior... And I could Gift of Strength it to attack with Ronus, but that doesn't seem all that necessary. No attacks. Interesting. So I think we'll just pump our Bitterblade Warrior and attack with Ronus. Could have attacked the warrior too to save up the leave up the gift of strength, but I'd rather use it as like protection. I think since we're kind of handily winning this race. Like I'd rather them have no open mana and not six cards in hand, and do it a little more safely. I think. Hour of devastation. So how does this work? Five damage to each creature. All creatures lose indestructible until end of turn. So I guess we'll just gift of strength our Ronus. Okay. Champion of Wits. That's pretty perfect. So let's go uh, Rivulet. Champion. Draw to discard the two lands that don't cycle and aren't sinuous striker. And then we'll pump our champion and then we'll attack for five. And pass. Next turn we can overcome and that should do her. True Heart Twins. Ronus is stalwart, sure. So, you're trying to beat us with Hour of Devastation. Now all the lack of play makes sense. So let's see, Overcome, we have, we're getting in for 11 Trample. I'm trying to think if it's wiser to just... Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we just pump the champion. Get in. No blocks? Well, I guess I'll just pump again then. Kill you. Okay. Interesting. So they have Hour of Devastation in there. That's good to know. It does it doesn't exile though at least, right? Okay, good. It does it does actually deal with Ronus, but um it doesn't deal with our eternalized guys, so that's something that is good to note. Uh, do we want to swap anything, though? Probably not. I mean, I basically have more proven combatants that we don't need, so... We'll just keep the same plan going here and try it again. Yeah, it's a good hand. So, Bitter Blade Warrior into Kudu, into Vizier. Well, I'd like to put the counter on the Vizier, but I guess a 2-4 body is pretty good. But we can put the counter on the Bitter Blade Warrior and still be happy enough, I think, too. We get to exert next turn and then play a Kudu as a 3-mana three 3-4. Three, and I guess we have Shed Weakness, too, so no real concerns there. And cycling the Inferno Jet. Let's see if they exert. They don't exert. Now that's not what I expected. So for that reason, I think I'm going to play the Kudu first, actually. Oddly enough. Because if they're keeping it back, that tells me they want to trade. So if they want to trade, why don't we just offer up a little Death Toucher to them? Now they're like, okay, I don't want to trade. Trial of Strength, okay. So we can play the Vizier, which I think we will. And we'll find... Uh, what shall we find? I guess we'll get our striker. We can do champion, but we're... Well, we could do champion. I mean, we're staying busy for a couple turns at least. Draw four, discard two is good. All right. We'll do the champ. And I don't want to trade a kudu for a beast. I didn't attack there and leave up the shed weakness because... I don't know. I don't really like that. I'd rather play shed weakness on my bitter blade warrior at some point. I think it's better. Attacking with the beast. That's interesting. I think we're going to... We could trade with our Vizier. It's going to be three turns before I can play this anyway. Okay. I think we'll do it. Great Maw's not bad here either. Let's attack with our Kudu and our... I think we attack with both. I'm curious how they block. They don't block at all. Okay. So let's play our sharpshooter now then. And pass. So play the Great Mom, we put the counters on it. And then I could just put the counters on my Bitter Blade Warrior. Because I could remove a counter from the Bitter Blade Warrior if I make this a 2-3. But I'm trying to think if that's actually better than just getting a 3-mana 4-5. I feel like dividing it up is probably better. Because Bitter Blade Warrior is such an annoyance anyway as a... 
as a death toucher right now. So if we're going to divide it up anyway, do I just remove the counter now? Probably not. Let's just smash here. Um, four cards in hand, three mana up. Do I want to go for Shed Weakness? I think we will. If they have Gift of Strength, it's still a two for two. Granted, their creature's worse than ours, but I still think... Ultimately, it was the right play. Oh, wow, okay. Well, let's play the Great Maw. And we'll put the counters on... I think we will put it on the Warrior Knight. I, I changed my mind. Oh, I guess they have Hour of Devastation mana now, don't they? Actually, the thing about the Hour of Devastation is... If they do play it and they wipe our board, we still get our Champion of Wits next turn and draw four discard two. So even if they did have Hour of Devastation, which it kind of feels like they could, we still would have been fine. Can I kill them if I play Ronus? Four, seven, we can deal nine. Well, we're going to play around Hour now, so we'll just do this and pass. Okay, so they get the thing, and then we can play champion. Draw four, discard, skirmisher, and I guess mouth to feed. And next turn with Ronus, we should be good. Guess they could ambuscade here. Okay. And then we'll pass. Chaos Maw. Okay, so we can just play. Let's see, we have seven mana, so we can play the Oracle. And then pump it and attack with our Ronus, force them to block. So we'll dump that, keep the other two, draw the aerial guide first, pump our Naga thing, smash, force the block, pass. Okay. Well, we beat Hour of Devastation two games in a row, as well as the Chaos Maw, so our opponent's deck was actually pretty sweet. Double board wipe, but uh, managed to get there. All right, we'll see you in round three.